what's going on YouTube back again with the uh, 1989 Kawasaki KDX 200 Enduro yes it looks way different totally different animal now she came a long way those that have been following my channel if you check out the barn find video you can see what this uh, bike used to look like big difference and I tried to keep it as close to you know as a 1989 as possible I didn't want to change the uh, theme to the bike too much luckily uh, luckily I was able to find these decals the period correct decals for this bike I didn't want to go crazy and change everything so uh, I tried to uh, keep everything you know within the 1989 period with the decals and the seat color and stuff like that you know unfortunately this seat is very hard to find a couple of these parts on this bike are hard to find I had to get a replica seat cover waiting for that to come in so I just put the seat back on there that was on there and it does have a cover but it's broke up broken broke apart so yeah like I said I tried to keep it to the 1989 period theme style whatever you want to call it as possible so yeah here she is the headlight came out great you know I tried to find the original headlight there's so much money and they're hard to find so I got this polysport polysport whatever you want to pronounce it headlight it looks great DOT really nice light makes the bike look actually looks great on this bike I'm very impressed came out really nice no complaints she looks great totally different animal I painted the rear spokes they came out actually they came out really nice the spokes I don't know if you can see that but I painted them black I did not do the front ones yet I'm still working on it the bike is not complete yet this is just a progress video of how far I came with it from when I got it bike is very snappy has a lot of low-end power and that's what Kawasaki did with these bikes. They, um, it was a trail bike, enduro slash trail, whatever. So it has a lot of low end torque. More so on a motocross bike, you have high end, not that much low end, but this has, this bike has a really nice amount of uh, low end torque, which is really nice for the trails. Comes up like just with a tap of the throttle, man. The thing's powerful. It's definitely, uh, it definitely gets up and goes I'm having a problem though when I put this bike back together I cleaned the carburetor took it all apart now the the float is sticking so I don't know I have to I really don't want to pull it back out but I'm gonna to have to pull the carburetor back out I'll try to do that soon I had it running though it did start but for like I said for some reason the uh the float is sticking in the float bowl. Um, I'll see if I can figure that out. Shouldn't be a big deal. But when I had it up and running a little bit ago, it, it ran it idled, ran perfect. Just that float bowl is sticking. So I have to figure out what's going on with that. I touched up the uh, kickstart. Came out really nice. Nice and glossy. I did the, uh, the foot brake and everything came out really nice looks good not too bad touched it up a little bit actually I touched it up a lot of it like I said I didn't want to do a full restoration or anything on this bike because I wanted it up and running as soon as possible so I can enjoy it at least get it riding around you know so yeah here she is she looks uh, really good she came out looking amazing 
totally different animal. I still have a few more things to do on this. But here she is. Just wanted to do a quick update video for you guys. For those that have been following my channel, you know what this bike used to look like. And um, yeah, it looks totally different now. Totally different. Put all new plastics on it. The number plates, battery or shrouds, rear fender, front fender, new hand grips. Some cosmetics, touched up the FMF pipe, came out really nice, looks good. And uh, these these number plates are the same that are on the KX500, same uh, number plate that's on the KX500. Some parts are interchangeable on the KDX200 to the KX500. Those number plates are the same as the uh, KX500. And so is the seat. The KX500 seat will fit on this bike. So here she is. I'm going to post a video of this bike running. I'll do a quick ride around on it. So stay tuned for more videos. And be safe out there. Like and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos of ATVs, quads. Stay tuned. Be safe. See you.